Remember, he said he will deliver us. Okay, um, all you people that say you love the Most High, um, the Most High is speaking here. You have man speaking and you have the Most High speaking. He will deliver us from man. You got the Most High saying, I will not deliver you. Why not? See, when he says something like this, we have to ask the question, why not? Because you have committed iniquity against him. This is the reason why he's not going to deliver you. We committed iniquities. We are in the lands of our captivities. The curses of Deuteronomy 28 upon us. He told us we had to deliver ourselves, and we're going to see the reason. We're in the scripture now. Regardless of what man said, now we are. We came to the scripture to see what the Father has said. There's one little thing these men won't teach their people, and there's something our people don't understand. And this is what they need to understand. Here's a problem. Here's a problem with their teaching. Jeremiah 13 and 14. Return. See, we got to return. Old backsliding children, says the Most High, says the Almighty, not our Mighty, says the Almighty. We don't deal with no owls. For I am married to you. I will take you. Uh-oh. Watch yourself. I will take you one from a city. One from a city. See, they don't teach this. He's sitting up there telling everybody in the city that where he is, a group of people, we have the doctrine of the seven churches of Asia. But the father's saying he's only going to take one from a city. Now, who are you going? Who do you believe? Get mad at the father. Don't get mad at the voice. I didn't say, I didn't say, uh, the most high going to take you one from the city. He said that. See, if I said it has no weight, but if I'm repeating what he said, you better hold on to your every last breath to this word. I will take you one from a city and two from a family and do what? And bring you to see you. So only one in your city going. That whole member, all that whole, the whole group, look at the group in every city. None in that group is, will be, will be the one. None of them. I told you, they're under him and they're standing between the father. They can't explain this away. One from a city. Now, this is the reason we had to deliver ourselves. Deuteronomy 28 and 29. This is the reason you're not going through no portals. That's favor. He already told us he's going to show us no favor. They gave the verse and you shall grope at noonday as a blind man gropes in darkness. You shall not prosper. You GOCC people, you wonder why they stay away from the Torah now. They want you to forget this. You shall not prosper in your ways. In the lands of our captivity, he told us we won't prosper. You shall only be oppressed and plundered continually. This forever. As long as you stay in that land, you're going to be oppressed and plundered continually. And no one shall save you. This is the Father's word in Torah. He's, he's listen, he can't break this. He's bound by his own word. He said, no one shall save you. No one shall deliver you. So he had to tell us to deliver, to deliver yourself. This is why he told us to deliver ourselves. You ain't going in some portal. We spelling out your iniquities. One, one son of Yashara, we were told not to go against, and that was Louis. And they are going against Louis after we have been warned. You need a precept? Here it is. You need a precept. Jubilees 23, 22 through 24. And a great punishment shall befall the deeds of this generation from the Most High. And I will give them over to the sword. Here we go. GOCC and their members will be given over to the sword and to the judgment. 
into captivity. Stay in your homes. Stay in Babylon. Watch what happens. To plunder and to be devoured. Not for him to save and deliver you with portals or rapture you up. And he will wake up against them, the, those, those wicked ones of Gui, who have neither favor or compassion, and who shall respect the persons of none, neither old nor young, nor anyone. For they are more wicked and strong to do evil than all the children of men. And they shall use violence against Yasharal. Yasharal ain't going through no portals. He ain't going through no gates. There's no verse to back. That never came out of the mouth of the Father. The seven churches of Asia never came out of the mouth of the Father. He has nothing to do with that. That's another, that's, that's another message. That has nothing to do with the Father. And transgress against Yaakov. How? Yaakov didn't listen to come out. And much blood shall be shed upon the earth. How is it Yaakov's trouble going to happen if all these people going to go through portals? You really living in a fantasy world? Believing a man telling you portals in every, every country? Did he tell you the exact location of the portals? Keep believing this lie. And there should be none to gather or bury. We know this is Jacob trouble. In those days, what are these people in GOCC going to do? In those days, they shall cry aloud. They get slaughtered. Remember, 2nd Ezra 15, 10, my people. Sheep led to the slaughter. They're going to cry aloud. They're going to call on the Most High. And call and pray that they may be saved. Remember, there's no one to save them. They're going to be calling out. To be saved from the hand of Gui, but none shall be saved. Our people are going to go against this because their man is going against this. Jeremiah 51 and 45. That's why he told us to move out of the midst of her. My people, go out. Don't go through the portal. There is no portal. That's a figment of a wicked man's imagination. He sounds like he upset. Yeah, the righteous get upset when you got some people that really want the truth. And the others are feeding them lies and leading them to the torments of Shaul. You should get angry. You should get righteously upset with these wicked men. And let everyone deliver himself from the fierce anger of the Most High. See, everyone has to deliver. You're seeing precept upon precept, line upon line. This man didn't give one precept to portals. He didn't give one precept to gateways, and the people bit it. Hook, line, and sinker. Yes, the voice of Yahuwah is one channel is upset. The Most High is upset with these people. And these people following this madness, will be they will be slaughtered. Of people like sheep being led to the slaughter. Jeremiah 51 and 6. He told us, flee from the midst of Babylon and everyone save his life. Look at this. You got to deliver yourself. You ain't going through no portals. You ain't going nowhere. Second Ezra told us, all those that are in the earth, they're going to remain in the earth. You think you're going to disappear in the cloud? It's not going to happen. Do not be cut off in her iniquity. They're going to be cut off in her iniquity because they're not going to come out. We obey all laws, statutes, and commandments. One of the commandments is come out of her, my people. They're not obeying that. And when they don't obey it, they will become enemies to him. For this is the time of the Most High's vengeance. He shall recompense now, before I get to the comment, let me say this. For years, come on, GOCC people, where are you? For years, they've been telling you to get your passports. Have your passports ready for travel just in case when things go down, whether things are going down. You have your passport in hand. Why do you need a portal? Why did they teach for years, get your passport, have your passport? If there's a portal, 
You see the madness? So you got your passport in vain. Because the most high portals or gateways, you're not supposed to need a passport. Passport nothing but permission from Edom. It's permission to move around the earth. I want to go in this country. Can I go? You can go, but it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you and your family. Some pay a hundred, some have to pay two hundred, some pay up to five, six, seven hundred, depending on how big the family is. So here's the comment. Here is my here is my comment that was left on their page. Here is the channel. Lesson Deliverance from Babylon. That's what caught my attention. You notice know, this 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 video here. Um, it's not that many comments, but here it is. Another pre now you GOCC people tell me is this comment worthy enough to be removed? Is it so wicked that they had to remove it? Another pre-trib rapture alternative doc doctrine, gateway doors and portals. This is easy. And the Mashiach said, "Difficult is the way which leads to life." Matthew seven and fourteen. He was asked, "How can he get into life?" He told him. You want to enter into life, keep the commandments. He told them. We are commanded to come out of her. This is what we're commanded. Come out of her. We were put in the land of our captivity for serving the enemy to be only oppressed and plundered continually. I'm quoting scripture, family. And no one shall save you. Deuteronomy 28, 29. We just saw it. This is why we must deliver ourselves. As they read in Zechariah 2 and 7. They read it. But they just went right over it. They read right over it. They read right over Jeremiah 16, 13. What the Almighty said. In the lands of our captivity. He will show us no faith. No favor. Portals, gateways, and doors are favor. This is favor. It goes against what they just taught. They don't know what they're teaching. The people don't know what they're teaching up under them. No righteous prophet. Watch this. No righteous prophet, man, woman, or children ever went through any portal in Scripture. Who, who went through portals in Scripture? You are being deceived. Jeremiah 51 and 50, get away, do not stand still. Jeremiah 50 and 16, everyone shall turn to his own people and everyone shall flee to his own land. Jeremiah 51 and 6, flee from the midst of Babylon and everyone save his life. No rapture, no gateways, no doors will get you out of Babylon. There is so much wrong with this teaching. No prophet. Or the Torah mentioned seven churches of Asia. That probably hurted them the most. Because he's claiming we have the doctrine of the seven churches of Asia. This probably hurt the most. Out of the mouth of two to three witness. It says out of the mouth of two to three witness. They gave one. They gave one. What's the revelation? These men are having nights with no vision. They probably didn't like this. It's the truth. I stand by this. Micah 3 and 6. Don't blame them. Please don't blame them. You are to take heed and, lie, and let no one deceive you. Matthew 24 and 4. This is Christianity on steroids. I stand by this comment. I support this comment. This is the Father's word. They don't support this comment. And so do me a favor. Go look on the channel and look for Yahuwah is one comment five days ago. You will not see it because they removed it. You won't see it because they didn't want their people to see it. They don't want them to get the truth. This is true. Facts that they are out for our people harm. They are out to hurt our people and make sure they end up in Shaul. Take heed. Let no one deceive you.